Okay, so now I'm uh, recording again. I don't know what kind of dog he is, but he, he looks like he's a puppy. He's got that puppy look about him. Not a threat. Okay. Another little little puppy dog. Not a threat. And then uh, down the way there was a, a big dog, but there he is. He looks like an older, tireder dog. Yeah. Like a German short hair. So that's that's part of the thing. You know, we look at, uh, we assess information. Is, is that person a threat? Is that dog a threat? Um, so when we're given information, like they say, hey, it's a uh, flash, I would expect to hear flash flood warnings uh, yesterday. I'm sure they were out for us. We had uh, lots of rain fast. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm going to go back to the bigger topic of AI, the cybernet cybernetic collective personalities in this whole discussion. Um, and I want to move this to where I'll, I'll show us a little bit more water and reflection. Where we stand makes a difference. We'll get a whole different view. Where we stand in life makes a difference. Now that our sons have moved out of the house for years now, and they're living successful on their own, they're not the day-to-day um, -day maintenance or concern. Now, imagine if, uh, if you will, if we would have not heeded uh, Charlene's encouragement to not vaccinate our sons. Now, now because our our uh, son Austin, who's a registered nurse, he has to be vaccinated up. Okay, but there are different vaccines, and and he's got a much stronger resistance. He's not a little baby anymore. You know, they're all grown up. So that's part of the deal. And so there's a that cybernetic collective has to do with. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to present it kind of like this. Uh, I'm sure all of you know what computer hardware is. Computer software. Computer hardware are the devices that we use. The software is the, are the programs that run on it. The apps that we use and, and all of that. Well, wetware is what we are uh, as viewed from the perspective of the artificial intelligence that is programming humanity to make decisions that it wants us to make. So, as I said, there are videos that I found and shared that you might have a very challenging time to find. Not all of them. Some of them are pretty obvious. They're real popular in the in the uh, flat earth community or in the truth movements. The truth movement, I believe ultimately there's just one. And in the context of that, there's the truth, and then there's everything else. So, what I came to find out about four years ago was a very powerful passage in Scripture. I was out here actually listening to it, um, and it came alive to me. They re it's Second Thessalonians chapter 2, they refused to love the truth, and so be saved. For this reason, God sends them a powerful delusion. I was wondering, why is it that some people will listen to the Bible and think it's a fairy tale, and some will listen to it and go, oh my gosh, that's real, and that's true, and my life has changed now because of that. How does that work? Well, it it happens with a desire to know the truth, and it's also got to do, I believe, with the identity of the individual. Because I'm actually a child of God that is now uh, indwelt by the Holy Spirit, empowered by the Holy Spirit, my life is different. I'm not the guy that I was. I can never go back there. That's part of the, the dynamic of that.
can ever happen. Okay, so what I'm going to show you here is there is a bright spot in the in the middle of the clouds there, and I'm going to pan on down and show you how it's shooting on Myrtle Beach. You can see it. Uh, if you're watching the live broadcast, you can see it later with when I upload it. There's the sky wheel. And one of the reasons why um, a laser test over the water here won't provide any useful information, it would be it, it's, it would be an intentional fail. That's why I didn't participate in a more recent laser test out here. I, I told uh, one of the individuals involved with it, uh, Nathan, Nathan Roberts, I said, uh, there's a lot of tidal activity. There's a bulge of water moving around the world. And, the tidal activity in Myrtle Beach at the Myrtle Beach International Airport is about an hour behind North Myrtle Beach. Uh, so there's a, a lot of water there that is leveling out. Keep in mind there would be no level anywhere in the world if we were moving in the multiple directions that we're seeing. Use your critical thinking, see if what I'm saying, if you believe that to be true. No level anywhere on a moving earth at any time. When they create structures to calibrate the laser level and get the vertical, uh, they use a liquid level to do it. That's all part of the part of the dynamic, part of the reality of it. Good morning. So the uh, the symphony of humanity. We see it all around us. It's just far different here on the beach than it is in a local store. Uh, they they can be uh, interactive. We can be interactive there. Having um, having the YouTube Truth shirt on draws a lot of curiosity. People want quite often want to know what I believe the truth is when I. Uh, shortly after I was born again, I found out that I could share an audio Bible, Bible.com, and uh, I had a Bible.com shirt. Because I did that, a lot of people had the idea they knew what I was about. Well, unfortunately, a lot of snake oil salesmen and charlatans walked this earth before me and gave people a, a very unfavorable perspective of what Christianity was all about or what the Bible was all about. So that's why I wanted to be a little bit more stealthy, but it's, it's beyond that. It's not that I'm trying to trick people. What I, what I want to have people realize is that the battle is so elaborate that it's hard for most people to comprehend. Uh, a deception so grand that it encompasses almost all factors of our life. The, the news we're presented, or most of us are presented, I, I get very little of it because I, I just don't even want to subject myself to it. Uh, and then the, the music that has been programmed into us, the TV programming, the radio programming, the uh, even just walking into a store and seeing the magazines there and a lot of the a lot of the people, the men or women of the year are are likely not even the gender that they're presenting as a man or a woman. They are very commonly opposite of that. I'm gonna zoom in on the sun right now. Very, uh, very close. Job 37 talks about the sun being in the midst of the clouds. It's not based on a popular opinion. If it doesn't fit, fit the, uh, well, it, it, it absolute that doesn't fit the uh, NASA proclamation that it's 93 million miles away and all that. And yet, we perpetuated that deception as homeschooling parents that didn't know any better. 
Almost everybody I've asked, over 95% of the people I've asked if they believed in Santa Claus said, yeah, I, I did when I was a kid, when I was younger. Yeah, most people did. We were, it's not just that my, my mom and dad told me about Santa and they would reinforce it and say, remember, Santa's watching. Santa wasn't watching. I even remember hearing weather presenters saying that uh, here's, here's Santa over Lake Michigan. They would superimpose something. Crazy, crazy stuff. And uh, when I woke up to the reality that the Santa was a lie, you know what other lie took over? The moon landing hoax. I was eating space food. They were in an aluminum foil, probably some nasty garbage. I don't even know who made it, but it was it was nasty. And then, of course, we had Tang. Uh, they were drinking Tang on the on the moon, apparently, only in the imagination. The globe exists only in the imagination. The reason why that matters is because if somebody can believe that there are those upside down in relationship to one another. It's obvious that they're deceived. We have no evidence of that anywhere. The movement of the supposed movement of the Earth has never been proven. Just so you know, if you've got proof of that, feel free to submit it to me. I know there's been experiments. They haven't proven the movement of the Earth. So there's the truth and everything else. The truth isn't determined by popularity, that's for sure, because the truth is divisive, controversial. Jesus even said in uh, Matthew 10 and Luke 12, you, you think I came to bring peace? I, I came to bring division. So the truth is divisive, and uh, that's, that's just the way it is. And so when the truth becomes more important than pleasing your partner or your family members, what will you do? What will you do? What will I do? Well, I'll, I'll just continue to do what I believe God created me to do, and then everybody else can deal with how they, they can deal with it. That's the short answer. Uh, to be clear, I'm not in this world to please humanity. <laughs> I'm, I was created to please God. I was created for His pleasure, His purpose, and that's why I'll do what He created me to do. So right now we've got a, a little family over here that made, made a little discovery, some kind of little sea creature they're all looking at. Let's see, what is it? It's a little crab. Isn't that something? So, on the zoomed in version, I can show you that. You can see it later if you want to. That's part of the. I don't need to go to the edge of the earth. I'm on the edge of. I'm on the edge, for sure. On the edge of uh, North America here exposing the reality of the world we live in. It's a, it's a reality show and you're in it, whether you like it or not. It's a battle for the hearts, souls, and minds of humanity. Whose team are you on? Whose child are you? God has children and <clears throat> apparently, according to what Scripture says, so does Satan. Satan has children and God has children. And I sincerely uh, don't know who's who exactly uh, because looks can be deceiving. Now, one of the... I'm going to... This is a talking point I want to bring out. I saw... I, I didn't like it. Um, it was on Instagram. Satan always lies. All right, no. Not, Satan doesn't always lie. And NASA doesn't always lie. That's what makes a powerful deception so effective is because there's a lot of reality and truth mixed in with with the lie to deceive like if somebody were to come up to me right now and say hey you know what we found out Santa's real here he is 
probably have to show me a CGI Santa flying over Lake Michigan. Here we've got some pelicans. They're, uh, it's feeding time for them. So the, the beauty and majesty of creation is amazing. It's fascinated me my whole life. So has the water. I didn't realize how powerful an evidence the, the water would be of the, the reality of the world that we live in. It's got an attraction and a fascination to a lot of people. And so one of the advantages that I have with this, I can, um, I can record from a long distance away and uh, zoom in on a whole bunch of humanity. So by